I'm frequently asked, how does the JIRA or Jenkins integration work with GitLab? Well, why don't we walk through that? Here I am inside of JIRA in my Spring Integrations project. I'll create a new issue. There. The important thing is that we have this SI6 ID before we go into GitLab. From here, let's go ahead and jump into GitLab and get to work. So I have my Spring Integrations project here. We'll jump into the repository and let's make a simple change. I'll do this the quick way. I'm gonna edit this file and since we're not using GitLab today for our CI, I'll just put a dot in front of this file name that I'm not using. Now remember, the ID was SI6. So I'm gonna put that as part of my commit message so that it gets linked back to JIRA. And that way we understand that this information will be shared back to the issue. I'm also going to do a JIRA SI6 branch name, just so, again, it's very well associated. This is not a requirement, but it's something I like to do for visibility between the systems. Now I know exactly what I'm working on and what I'm doing and what issue it's associated with. So we're starting a new merge request. I can also do something here like resolves SI6 that will close the issue when we're done working on it. Let's assign this to me, submit the merge request, and now we have a merge request that's open, a branch that's been created, a commit that's been made, and a change. So if we go back to JIRA, we should see this stuff. Now the connection between JIRA and GitLab runs on a timer. So I'm going to force the manual refresh just to make sure we have the latest information available when we click on the issue. In this particular case, we were working on SI6, and you see here, I've got a number of things that have happened. First of all, the comments have populated with anything that we did within GitLab related to SI6. We also have a branch and a commit that have been listed associated with our development. And you see here, the repository for Spring Integrations and the branch are both brought in as dynamic links. So if I click through from here, I'll be brought right back into GitLab. Just to make sure we reciprocate properly, we've also added a JIRA link from GitLab to go back to the JIRA issues. In this particular case, I mentioned Jenkins as well. Here's the merge request, and if you were observant, you caught that a pipeline ran as soon as I made my change. If I click into the pipeline to take a look, there's not much here but it's an external pointer to Jenkins. Jenkins had been integrated here within the settings, just like JIRA was. And if we go to the integrations, you'll notice that JIRA and Jenkins are both active. And if I click into Jenkins, you see that we are triggering Jenkins anytime there's a push to the repository. So if I go to my pipelines, you'll see all the different pipelines that have run within Jenkins and their health over time. The latest one that we just ran is right here. And if I click on this and drill into the job, you'll notice it takes me right to Jenkins into the console output for the job that just ran. So not only can I see this in detail here, but if I go to my dashboard in Jenkins and click into my Spring Integrations project, you'll notice my full build history over here on the left-hand side with all the data that's associated with it. And there you go, Jira, GitLab, and Jenkins all working together.